Real Business Owners. Welcome back to the Real Business Owners podcast, guys. This is episode 36. Uh, it's myself, Trevor Cowley, the OG, triple OG, Kilo G. What's um, up? <laughs> Guys, this episode is brought to you by Easier Accounting. We are in the midst of tax season. If you guys have questions in regards to, you know, entity formations, uh, tax planning, tax prep, bookkeeping, whatever it is, yes, we are nationwide. You know, we get uh, we get DMs asking, well, I'm in California or I'm in Texas or I'm in New York. Guys, in this day and age, uh, we're all far more connected than we realize uh, with technology, right? Mm-hmm. So we have accountants that literally do Skypes and Zoom calls where you are face-to-face with your accountant. So, you know, none of those old concerns uh, need to be there anymore well, based we were, upon technology, right? We were doing it nationwide back in 08 before cloud-based was even big, <laughs> man. Like, we were chasing Just people down with email. Just, yeah, fax machines yeah. and yeah. mail and people mailing in documents. So if we could do it then, we can definitely do it yeah, now. It don't absolutely. matter where you're at. <laughs> so, guys, this, uh, this episode's going to be a little bit different than the typical episodes that we do. Um, just to be quite honest, the majority of the episodes we do, we... Uh, we 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 figure out what we're gonna do about Five 30, 30 minutes before uh, be, before we get on, and, yeah. and this episode is no different. You you guys and I and I don't want to discount uh, how important preparing is. Yeah. Uh, you know, but you, what what makes this a little bit different? We are operating several businesses. Mm-hmm. Uh, which makes it tough. Like we have had DMs asking for more podcasts than once a week, um, and we would love to get to that point. Um, but it's difficult to get me and Kel in the same room at the same time with our phones off to the side mm-hmm. and and to be able to you know be on the mic for forty five minutes to an hour, you know, and not giving our businesses that attention that it needs. Yeah. And so we're some, doing the best we can. Some of our businesses, we are still fine tuning systems and processes so that we can free up more time. Yeah. Uh, but man, there's still quite a bit of work to do there. And every time we think yeah. we're like right there, it's like man, yeah, whole another thing to jump into. Yeah, like that's a whole that's a whole other topic. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So Sorry. today we wanted, you know, we we talk about you know, how important it is to put new information into the mind. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is, uh, if you're not growing mentally, your, 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 your income's probably not growing. Why? Because you're not putting yourself in a situation where you're becoming more valuable to whoever either you, you work for or more valuable as the entrepreneur or as the business owner. And the more valuable, uh, you are, the more you could charge in most cases, right? You know, there are certain services that, you know, uh, that might not be the case if somebody's, you know, mowing a lawn or, you know, doing specific duties like that, you know, obviously that's, there's probably an industry standard where you live and it is what it is or real estate, you get 3% commissions. Uh, but again, yes, that rate is the same, but if you're a different individual mentally, you will probably push yourself harder to sell more homes or to mow more lawns or to get more jobs. Maybe you structure multiple teams to where you aren't just a one man show or a small team of two or three people. Uh, it'll help you level up in general just by getting new information into the mind. And that's really the only difference for me, man, because yeah. I was already a hustler, dude. Yeah. I've been hustling since elementary school. Yeah. And so I can go make six figures yeah. whether I'm working for someone else, whether I'm on the phone selling, whether I'm face to face selling, mm-hmm. whether I'm knocking doors. Yeah. I, dude, I can go make six figures just being a hustler. But yeah. You want to make seven figures? You want your business to bring in eight figures? Like yeah. the biggest difference over the last over the last few years has really just been personal growth you know yeah. like there's these crazy things called books yeah i actually started reading them you yeah. know i actually started applying them reading them's great applying is where the magic happens yeah consistently and, and so. i think a lot of pre- people um you know even online whether it's social media mm-hmm. they follow all the cool people or whatever that's giving great information whether it's gary v or you know ed or andy or even us you mm-hmm. know listening to us or or, or following our our, our content That's all fine and dandy. You might get like a feel good little moment in there, but that's not what it's about. We're literally Mm -hmm. trying to challenge who you are as an individual and and wanting you to level up because we've done it. And now that we like, it's one thing when you haven't done it and you're watching people like, oh man, that's cool. They've got it all figured out. They're in most cases, they're giving you very valuable information. 
but it's only valuable upon application right. of the information, right? Yeah. And so it might give you that motivational boost for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, or maybe even get you through the day or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But when you start applying some of this information, you actually start growing as a human being. You know, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have a videographer or a podcast if we didn't attend the Gary V Agent 20. 2021 event mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, literally almost to the day, yeah. right? And we went there, and I would bet you 98% of the people that went there that heard that talk did not go home and hire a videographer and double down on social media. Well, we'd already been consuming content for probably a whole year yeah. of like uh, guys that are operating at levels that we wanted to operate at. Right. Like, I, you know, I didn't say nine figures because we ain't there yet. You know, we're still well, we're doing eight it. figures. We're still know? doing yeah. it. We're trying to get to that that level. We've got work to do. Yeah. So, you know, on us. Right. And so, yeah. um, you know, we consumed content for a little while. But, I, you know, when I when I was like, guys, I just have a feeling we need to go to do this to this event yeah. because, you know, one, there were some connections there that we wanted to lock down, um, which were great. But dude, it was, that was cool. That was one of our biggest takeaways. Like dude, yeah. we got to start doing this instead yeah. of listening to what these guys are doing. We got to start doing it. And yeah. so to go and actually start applying it turned into something pretty cool. Right? Absolutely. And so the, the, how we get information is through events like that. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're there, we're analyzing the way that they talk on stage, the way that they move on stage, mm -hmm. the way, you know, not just the talk itself, yeah. right? Because if we want to ultimately be them at one point and have that type of income, we have to look at everything as a whole, not just the information that they give and take notes and cool, that's great information. We have to take the notes, we have to apply it, but we're also watching mannerisms, the way mm -hmm. that they deliver a message, right. the way that they can move a crowd. All of those things do matter because if you can't move somebody you know, and hit deep it, it, it can make that connection, yeah. then they won't apply anything, right? And so... We're, we're very analytical in some of those scenarios. So again, we get information through these networking events. We get information through podcasts, just like you guys are doing right now, listening to this. We get information Mentoring. through books. Mm -hmm. uh, we get information through coaches or mentors. Mm -hmm. So we have multiple avenues to get new information into the mind that, you know, and again, maybe when you first start putting new information to the mind, it is just kind of hitting it and you're not doing anything about it. But if you continue to consume over a long enough period of time with the intent to actually try to better yourself, eventually you'll, you'll watch yourself evolve. Now, evolution doesn't happen overnight. And so today we wanted to talk about some of the books that we're currently reading and just some of the the value that that we've been getting out of the books just to share that information with you guys right so if we're getting information from a book that we think is valuable to us that we could apply into our businesses we want to talk about that with you guys just so maybe some of you guys that don't think reading is that powerful and again we've been guilty of it i'm 35 years old and i've i've got through two books but I'm and 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 I was the only one holding me back. I made all the excuses. Well, I don't retain information. I don't this. I don't that. Reading's not for me. That's not the way I learn. Mm -hmm. I, I'm more of an audio learner, right? And rather than uh, somebody that can read yeah. and digest information or visualize. Or say that too. Yeah. I'm just more hands on. Yeah, I, I learn through doing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Which which I did. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Which is great. But that doesn't mean that you're only there's only one avenue to, to that exactly right? exactly yeah. there's, there's only one way to learn you know but we we, we were handicapping ourselves by yeah. limiting our beliefs and limiting that uh you know we can only learn one way and i believe that the reason why people don't don't read and, and they give themselves those excuses is because they really don't want to change that bad well it's funny you bring it up because that's actually the book i'm reading right now it's called psycho cybernetics right? okay by who um this is maxwell waltz okay yeah, i'm actually only halfway through it but um that's actually one of the very first things that you start learning in this book man this guy was a uh like renowned plastic surgeon okay and the dude just kept noticing differences in people like certain people coming to him um where he would see a, a change in their personality, right, by by plastic surgery, but then mm. certain people that it wouldn't. And it, it was he would be he'd have these beautiful people come to him like, but they'd hated the hump on their nose, mm -hmm. right? And so he'd give them this perfect nose, and they'd come back to him like, 
you the, didn't change anything. Yeah. It was like, yeah, what do you mean? Yes, we did. Like, Their we changed your nose. The hump's not there anymore. The same. Exactly. And that's what this whole book is about is right. your self image. But one gotcha. of the first things that you learn in this is people take things on as their identity, right? Mm -hmm. And so mm. we've done that. Like, yeah. we're like, oh, well, we just aren't great students in school yeah. and we weren't great testers. And yeah. so, you know, we're just not academic. And then we get told that by our peers and our teachers. Our teachers will even tell your, your parents in parent teacher conference, like, well, I've noticed he's a little, uh, you know, antsy and he doesn't really retain information yeah, well or yeah. he doesn't really test well and so you get told these things and then you think these things and then you know all these actions are confirming so now that just becomes your identity yeah. like a part of your identity gotcha. so you're you're basically you're just not a good tester anymore and so you believe that so now it's your identity and so mm -hmm. your whole life you're going to continue to believe that you're just not a good tester or you're not a great student or you right. don't retain information well when reading when really it's not the truth you you really can mm -hmm flip the script. And that's really what this book is teaching you is like how to flip the script, how to prime your mind, how to change your mind, your beliefs, recreate your, your self image to believe these things yeah. so that you are in control of your identity with your mind. And they've obviously this book is old, dude. There's over 35 million copies that have been sold. It's like, yeah. it's one of those game changer books, like yeah. think and grow rich or something. Yeah. Um, that's just changed so many lives. This one is just in that same category, uh, because there's just study, study, study after study of all these people who have applied these teachings. They have changed their self image. They are great students. Now they are great business owners. Mm -hmm. They are great salespeople all because they changed their identity, um, their self belief, and really, I mean, at the end yeah, of the day, like it, it really is all mental. Like I we limit that. ourselves, but the worst thing you can do yeah. is allow other people to, to put limitations you. on you. You know what I mean? To to not succeed at something that yeah. you are capable of. Yeah, that we're all capable of so much more, and that's why I geek out on these mental type books yeah, for that dude, exact reason. So I love the nuggets I'm pulling out of it. Dude, I I sent Austin a quote today that you know he'll probably queue up soon enough. And I said, anybody can handle the, the path through success or to success is not physical. Yeah. It's all mental. Yeah. Like you, you're not physically going to be, you know, um, sore or tight, but mentally you can, mm -hmm. you'll go through exhaustion. You'll go through mental warfare yeah. in order to, to, to be successful. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Yesterday was a prime example of that, you know, kind of laughing I mean, we sat in, in, in my office for a second. We were talking about this is going on, this is going on. We kind of giggled a little bit like, no shit, dude. Like, um, and being able to go through those mental battles and come out the other side and just kind of laugh about it a little bit, you know. And it takes a lot of time to get to that point. Like, you really feel like poor me yeah. at first, like. And, and like we've talked about a lot, okay. questioning it, second guessing it. But if you reframe your thoughts to, and you actually believe that you will grow f grow from struggle, which mm -hmm. is the absolute truth. Yeah. Like if somebody handed you a million dollars, you're no different of a person. Right. You don't know anymore. Now, if you earned your way to a million dollars or a hundred million dollars, the person that you were prior to the person that was valuable enough to receive that type of income are going to be two different human beings. Totally agree. Right? Uh, somebody said something that I read one time that said, if you gave everybody in the United States $100,000, five years later, the majority of people would be broke. Mm -hmm. And there would be a, a select amount of people that would have turned that $100,000 into millions of dollars. Right. Becoming wealthy is a mindset. It's a mental battle. It's a mental game, 110%. Mm -hmm. Part of why I believe in working out and, and doing all that, because it is tough to get out of bed. You have to beat the mental games prior to even walking into a gym. And then when you're in the gym and you're getting through those reps and you're tired, your brain's telling you to stop, that it's burning, it hurts, and you get those extra reps. That's the mental battle. Yes, it is physical pain or physical soreness, but the mental battle that you have to overcome to continue and mm -hmm. push through that is where you're growing as well, right? And there's, so... Yeah, there's, um, you know, that saying, there is no substitution for hard work. 100% mm -hmm. agree, but you got to be mentally tough enough to put in the hard work, yeah. right? And yep. so you, you, you've got to earn, like, through... 
through doing, right, yep. and through believing. And you got to start at the beginning, and it all starts with the mind. I yeah. guess that's what I'm trying to say. You got to yeah. start at the beginning, kind of reverse engineer, like, oh, how's that guy just so tough or disciplined, or he puts he works harder than that guy? Well, because he primed his mind to be that way. Yeah. He's mentally tough enough to put in the, the tough, work. hard work, yeah. right? And so you do got to start with and the mind. And past the excuses. Yeah, right? and that's what I meant in the beginning when I was like, dude, I can go hustle. But at what level, right? Yeah. Like, you got to do something mentally to get to the next level. When you're hungry enough to level up, you'll be open-minded to just about any possible way to do it. And each level that you hit, it gets harder to get to the next level. So you have to be more open-minded than you were at the previous level in order to continue to to grow as an individual, to grow as a business. Just, just, and, 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 and secondly, you need to surround yourself with awesome ass people. You do. I was honestly just going to say that, dude, it, like every great businessman, like we're lucky enough to have some of the mentors we have. Dude. Like we were talking not too long ago about how, um, dude, we want, we want to have a jet because yeah. we know that's going to open up a whole lot more opportunity. That's going to help us yep. help others as well as get to the levels we want to be at. So we have some mentors that have jets, you know, it's pretty yep. freaking cool. Right. Yep. And so we know that we're on the path to get there. So surround yourself is definitely, but it is definitely a huge key, but I also noticed that everyone that we mentor with is so open-minded. They're like, oh, visualizing, meditating, yeah. all this shit that you think's weird when you're growing up. Yep. Like, they're like, oh, dude, I do it daily. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, shit, well, I got to be open-minded to doing that shit daily, you know? So it's, it all starts with, they know it starts dude, with the mind too, right? Dude, it's, it all it, starts it, with the mind. It's it, all open-mindedness. Exactly. It's not that difficult to analyze somebody. Like, if you Google on average, what do successful people do? It's all there, yeah. right? Whether it is meditation, whether it is reading, whether it is working 10, 12 hour day, like all of the information is there. Mm-hmm. The problem is, is implementing it yeah. and actually doing it. That's the difficult part. And that's where the discipline comes in. The mental warfare that we're talking exactly. about, you have to become a mental warrior in order to get to the levels that we're trying to get to, mm-hmm. the levels that you want to try to get to. We understand that now. And the momentum that we have now that we understand that is far greater than what we've ever had prior. Right. Like I am far more confident now that we're on the exact path that we need to be on. And the only thing between us and, and, and extreme wealth is time. Right. And we understand that so we can have patience, but yet have urgency to implement strategies Mm -hmm. and become finishers. Too many people want to start something and they talk about this, that, the other. And it's just like, talk it, like fucking be done with it. Like, shut the hell up. Yeah. Like, let's start moving. Let's start doing. Mm -hmm. Let's start taking action. Let's implement. Let's fall on our face, learn from it and keep moving forward. 100%. That's really where it, what it comes down to. That's the the greatest separator. And people think sometimes they're doing it. And I'm, I'm guilty of this. Okay. People think they're pushing themselves and they're not. Yeah. Like just the other day, actually. So true. I'm like, I'm pretty exhausted from a gym I'm a little sore from from the you know day before but you know so I feel like I'm pushing myself at the gym but really I've been going through the motions right like I'm trying to work out with more intent but then my buddy calls me up and he says dude come try this workout with me we're gonna do kettlebells and ball slams in a hot yoga room and I was just like whatever dude like you know and I I honestly just couldn't make it to a couple of the classes finally think thankfully he was pushing me to really come try it with him dude like because I was open-minded to just go and try this new workout, I figured out when I was done, like, holy cow, dude, I wanted to quit a few times. So I was like, I really haven't been pushing myself mm. like I thought I had been pushing myself. And so, dude, physically and mentally, like, you've got to be open-minded to trying new things to really find out if you're pushing yourself. Like, I've been trying these new breathing exercises in the morning on top of my gratitude because I'm like, dude, I want to start my day with even more intention now. Yeah. So I'm open-minded to trying these new breathing techniques. There's a whole app for it. I picked it up off Ed's podcast called XPT yeah. uh, Breathing. And it's actually really cool, dude. Like, I've only been doing it five days. I already know it's a total difference in my morning. And I'm just like, so you got to be open-minded and then just try things. Yeah. Step into those things that just seem kind of weird or different and see yeah. if they benefit you. So it, now this is just a five-minute addition to my morning routine, which I know is already helping me. Yeah, well, everybody has five minutes. Yeah. Like, there's no excuse. Yeah. 
you know, but the majority of people listening right now that you just gave the app to, they're going to be We might motivate them, inspire them, and then this, that, the other, and then they don't do anything different. Yeah, and dude, it's, I actually I, downloaded it probably three months ago. I finally yeah. started using it. Yeah. So I did the same thing. But she, yeah. just be open-minded. If that's the, that's the biggest piece of advice I could give is like, you know, and, and it's because of these type of books yeah. that... I, I'm like, oh, I am more open-minded, you know, because I've mm. seen benefits from implementing. I see yeah. mentors that do things um, of ours that, that, you know, I'm just like, man, you know, because I, I, for a long time I thought oh, I, I had shit figured out. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I already know. I got to sell, 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 and I got to yeah. do this, and I got to manage here, and I just got to be a leader here. And it's like, no, dude, you got to be more open-minded to these mm. new techniques and and uh, and then just try them and see how they benefit you. So, sometimes, I think sometimes we give ourselves far too much credit. Yeah just to let ourselves off the hook. Yeah. Because if you just sat there and you're like, you know what, I could do better, but I didn't. Yeah. You know, and you're beating yourself up mentally, right? Like, mm -hmm. unfortunately, the brain does try to give you a little too much credit than it deserves. Like, yeah, yeah you have been pushing yourself. You feel good about yourself. Like, I, I've been going. Going yeah. and pushing yourself are two different things. Yeah. Walking in the in, in the doors of the gym, yeah, that's good. That there's There's a win happening there because it's better than doing nothing. But going in the doors and then going in with an intent to actually focus and push yourself, that's a whole nother category, right? Right. You know, you, you see people in the gym uh, and some people are getting results and some people has looked the exact same for the last three years. So are those people that look the same for the last three years giving themselves too much credit? Probably so. Mm -hmm. You know, if they tweaked or changed something and went to a different class and were open-minded about changing their techniques or, you know, shocking their body, then they might see different results. But yeah. they're probably just, they've got to figure it out. They show up at this time every day and they just do their thing right. rather than being open to what else may be available that can help them get to that, that new level. Totally agree. Um, so that was um, psycho cybernetics um, yeah, in dude, regards it's, to the. It's a total mental growth book. Um, yeah. And I've geeked out on a few of those books. So okay. I read Buddha's Brain. Yeah. That was the first time I ever heard the quote of feeding the wolf, right? Which wolf are you feeding yeah. inside you? Yeah. And that was actually mind, mind blowing for me. And that yeah. was, dude, that was probably over 10 years ago I read that book. And that was the first time I ever heard that, that term. Um, I, I read uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's, Dispenza's book, uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Like these yeah. are all books that are around like mental, mental. Yeah. like how you really can control your your future by changing yeah. your environment, putting yourself in places and your beliefs, right? Because a lot of people, you know, they, they believe things consciously, but they actually don't believe it so strong that mm. it's subconscious as well. So and your like, subconscious is working against you while you're trying to make a change. Exactly. And so in, in that book, uh, Dr. Joe's book, man, I remember him telling a story very early in the book about how you know that he had this grandmother in Italy that always pictured and dreamed of a great life of wealth and abundance right and she was a hard worker and she was a great person and that was one of the first steps you got to take is start believing right mm -hmm. creating that imagination believe that you have this great life that you're working towards but deep down she didn't ever feel deserving mm -hmm. right and so and that's where your subconscious comes into play like you want these great things and you want this life of abundance and giving and all well, these doesn't? things. But if you don't fully believe exactly. you deserve it, you're never going to get it. You'll she never got it. You'll you, you, right? you'll go through the self-sabotage yeah. thing, which is a podcast that we just did. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's, And so just those kind of books just really helped me a lot. So yeah. those are some nuggets I pulled out of those two books. And I've read other ones too, but Psycho Cybernetics yeah. has been cool too because Good. just changing your identity, your self-image, dude, that's so key. So those are the few nuggets I've gotten on the mental kind of books, right? And once you become a little open-minded and you get, you, you start seeing a little value, mm -hmm. then it kind of starts cracking open how open-minded you can be like, holy shit. Like, yeah. And again, I didn't get value out of books at one point in my life because I wasn't ready for it. Yeah. I didn't actually really care to be that open-minded yeah, because just want to I show up and grind every day be, because I thought I had it figured out. Right. Yeah. Like when I'm going into a book now with the intent to try to pull information out mm -hmm. and to become better, yeah. I actually am reading with intent to try to pull information and now I can read and, 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 and I enjoy it. And you, and you retain and you, and all those things that you didn't think you could do. Yeah. Right. And because yep. it's a skill that's learned yeah. like yep. anything else, man, like when you start a job, and you know nothing about that job. Like, let's say you're a, a plumber. Yeah. Dude, you, you show up. You're just the grunt guy. Yeah. You, you start out just, you know, handing the guy tools, yeah. your boss, and, and going and getting, you know, the piping. And then he'll teach you how to read a tape measure. And then he'll teach you how to make cuts. And then before you know it, years of 
work go by Evolution, and you've earned yeah. this skill. Yeah. Now you know how to plumb from start to finish, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with reading. It's a skill. You pick up a practice. book and just start working. Yeah, look at it as practice. If yeah. you don't feel like you're retaining, you got to reread chapters or whatever, just keep going because it's a skill that's learned like anything else. Well, it's like saying, you know, um, a, a baby learning to walk and they don't fall down a few times yeah. and say, walking's not for me. Never mind, I'm going to crawl forever. Yeah. Right? Like, you, but it, people are doing that as adults. Yeah. They're like, this is just, this this is just is my life. I'm just yeah. I'm a janitor for the rest Th- of my th- life. This is Nothing what it against is. janitors, but like if you want more than that, yeah. you have to try new things Look, and you've got to earn and learn those skills. Absolutely. Look, we don't like we don't expect everybody to be us or have the same ambitions in, as us. I respect everybody and 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 what they do in terms of their occupation. 100%. What I do not respect is if somebody stays with inside of an o- occupation, they're not doing anything to try to better themselves, but yet they want to bitch mm. and moan and cry about their situation yeah. to other people. They're constantly complaining and whining, yeah. but yet they're not taking any action or doing anything to try to put themselves in a better situation. Yeah. So they are, in fact, their own worst enemy because mm-hmm. they're in their own way. Nobody's stopping them from picking up a book or learning new information. Uh, you know, that's one thing that's frustrating. You know, having 70 something thousand followers on Instagram. And knowing that there's thousands and thousands of people that have access to information that we're giving them that we know can help them, Mm -hmm. but they're not tapping into it. Exactly. But they're probably complaining or wanting more out of their life. They just don't want it bad enough yet. They haven't got fed up yet. Just like Brent in the last podcast, he had to break down and cry in his car when Mm -hmm. he was done delivering pizza. And that redirected the course of his entire life. Yeah. And so rather when, than continuing to wait and get to a point where you literally cannot tolerate it anymore mm-hmm. to actually start taking action, yeah. like just start taking action now. Yeah. Right? I mean that's don't that's get it. to the yeah, don't get to the breaking <laughs> point. But we've been there. We're yeah. guilty of it. And that's yeah. why we're sharing this information. But of course. I know you've read some books recently like How to Win Friends, Friends and Influence and, People. So, I yeah. haven't read that one. So yeah, what are some big takeaways there? No, that that's a good one. So that's by Dell uh, Carnegie. Um so I'm just going to go through a couple a uh, couple points that I wrote down. He talked about you know criticizing people, how you shouldn't criticize too much, right? Um, you need to understand. It says when you prove someone wrong, you're not going to win them over as a friend, right? Does it feel good to be right all the time? Of course, I'm Dude. fucking guilty of yeah. this. Like we're both, this both is of us my there. Bad. I love being right yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is one thing that I need to work on. Yeah, right, because. Even now, I, we start thinking that we have it all figured out. Like, okay, we just need to be open minded. We need to read books. We need to, you know, it, and the momentum's happening. But I'm sure there's plenty of shit that we don't know. And, and when we hit those new levels, we'll, we'll learn. Mm-hmm. But this is one thing that, that I do need to work on because I enjoy being right. Like, uh, and, and, and I kind of rub it in sometimes. Yeah, see? You, yeah, told you. <laughs> told yeah, you so. <laughs> uh, chalk it up for another win for Trevor, you know, or whatever, right? Uh, but in reality, it's what it's talking about is nobody wins in a scenario like that. Yes, you feel good that you're right, but you didn't win another friend. Yeah. Right? You, you that person when you prove them wrong, it's not like they look up to you now, mm-hmm. right? Like so the idea is to help them come to the realization themselves rather than criticizing them and telling them they're wrong. You can have an open dialogue and, and and communicate with that individual and help them come to that same perspective that you have yeah. in a different way and not through criticism, right? By asking questions, trying to understand, and that's one of the one of the other ones on here is you know trying to understand other people's point of view, right? Right. Um, in 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 getting their perspective and then trying to help them shift that perspective. Yeah. Right. And so that was a good one. That's something uh, guilty. You know, I, I definitely need to work on um, sincere and honest appreciation uh, for people. Yeah. Right. Or employees or whatever it is. Let, let's just put it this way. There's EQ and there's IQ. Right. The emotional intelligence right now is far exceeding what IQs can do. Yeah. You know, your personality and who you are as an individual, whether you're smiling more and you're an individual that's warm, good energy, have great vibration, that attracts people and the right people. Yeah. Right? Because there's some smart motherfuckers that are just dull as shit. um, And and it's hard for them to attract people to want to be around somebody that doesn't have, like, good energy or good vibrations. They're just smart, which is great, which... 
I, I'm not saying anything bad about being just smart. It's better than being dumb and dull. You're right. Right. Uh, <laughs> Good but, point. <laughs> you know. So there. I mean, there's. <laughs> you know, there's always worse, right? Uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day. Um, you know, it, it does talk about smiling more in mm-hmm. there, you know, being more approachable and things like that, because Dale Carnegie was not, you know, the most brilliant individual in the whole world. He just knew how to make people like him. Yeah. And and if they know you, like you and trust you, they'll want to be with you. They'll want to listen to you. They'll respect you uh, far more. Yeah. Um, so point number three was, again, other people's point of view. Um, try to focus on you know, understanding what their needs are, what they're trying to accomplish, not what you're trying to accomplish, right? So if you begin, like if, if I know that you're wanting an out, a specific outcome mm. and I want a specific outcome, if I'm trying to sell you something, I'm going, I want, I want you to lead you down a path where, you know, I'm helping you get what you want first. Right. By default, then I end up getting what I want because... I need to help you understand, you know, hey, you're here, you're trying to get here, that's great, and here's how we're going to do it with my product or service, right? Right, Or whatever it may be. So understanding the customer's needs more so than, than what your needs are. Well, that's huge, um, dude. I mean, that's like every young salesman's problem in the beginning. You they, know want, what I mean? they want high commissions yeah. and this, that they're focused on themselves they're, and their payday, right? They're not even letting the consumer finish what their entire problem is because they're just like chomping at the bit to, to tell them about their problem. Now it's yeah. going to already solve that problem. And, and but they're really, sell. their intention is just make that sell, you know? Find out what that, what, what that person's need is yeah. and, Listen. Fo- and, and, and focus on them. Right. right. When you're focusing on other people. And again, this is how to win friends and influence people. Right. Mm-hmm. So, the reality is, is the more friends that you have or the more ability that you have to influence others, the better off that you'll be financially um, and probably emotionally, yeah, you yeah. know, so that that's obviously an important factor as well. But um, what do you think some things are people could practice to to kind of get that skill, right, of, of being a better listener and and fully understanding what the clients or the potential clients real needs are so number four was again be interested in others too many people are self-absorbed right yeah and so everybody likes to talk about themselves and all the great things that they do and give themselves that credit that we talked about right right so we've talked about this on you know how we create content Mm -hmm. are we creating content right now that 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 serves us right you see what i'm saying we're giving content that serves other people, yeah. but by default, because we are trying to focus on others, we, we win too. Yeah, 100%. you see what I'm saying. So, finding finding out what their needs are. If even if I mow the lawn for somebody or something, I I mean, obviously they're calling me for a quote because they hate something about it. What exactly do they hate about mm-hmm. it? You know, it does it take away from their child's soccer game on Saturday? You know, that they have to sit there and do yard work. Hey, I totally understand, you know, uh, you've got young kids, you know, you you work hard. You probably want more family time on the weekends. And so you're not talking about what you want out of this scenario. Right. You're you're, you're talking about some of their needs and what their wants are. By default, they'll end up doing business with you because you're hitting all of those pain points or those trigger points that, that will ultimately make them take the next step. So again, it's just about, you know, focusing on others and what their needs are. Mm -hmm. When you understand what the customer or the individual's needs are, then you'll be better off as long as you're focused 100% on their needs. Focus on others, you end up winning. That's exactly what we're doing with real business owners. How many times do we talk about, you know, easier accounting all over our Instagram page? Yeah. Hardly at all. But yet we we get customers DMing us or potential customers wanting to get quotes from us because all we're doing is giving to them yeah. and focusing on their needs or things that they could do to put themselves in a better situation financially uh, or, and even personally. You know, your emotional state is, is just as important, if not more important, than your financial state. Totally, you know, th- those totally. things are completely, I think, you know, I think hand people hand. kind of need to own some shit, right? That's the first step you got to take is you got to own shit. 
Um, cause I could be a better listener still. This is still something I'm practicing, right? Amen, dude. Um, I, I messed up today, dude. I was on yeah. a phone call earlier today. You were on it too. And I'm just like, mm. uh, I figured out right away what some of the guy's needs were. And I just, boom, I just go right into like, Oh yeah, dude, no, we can do this, that. And I genuinely do want to help the guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause, uh, cause I know that could turn into an awesome account. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I did get a little jumpy today and I, and you have to really own that, mm-hmm. you know? And then when you become self-aware of it, you can really bite your tongue, man. Like, you know, you, you feel yourself uh, drifting from listening to somebody. You can you can tell yourself like, okay, this is where I need to have better intent in listening to them. Or you feel yourself wanting to urge or jump into the conversation. Like, yeah. you can be like, okay, bite your tongue. Let them finish, right? You know, so those are things you got to be conscious of. And I haven't read that book yet, but those are some things I'm thinking about as you're talking about. Well, like, that, that, man, I did that today. I was sitting here thinking about it. I did that yeah. today. I should have bit my tongue a little bit. And, you know, like I should have, you know, had a little more intent in listening. And, you know what I mean? Sure. So uh, you can always be better at it, right? That, that was that was basically the next point yeah. is to be a better listener encourage other people to talk people love talking about themselves yeah that's the it, it, and that's that's what it is mm-hmm. and this book talks about deals that have went down massive massive deals without them ever even talking about the deal mm-hmm. just asking questions about the individual and then they're like hey let's do this together or let's do that together or whatever like go eat lunch and they just they're vibing mm-hmm. and then they don't even talk and at the end of the conversation, they talk about putting an order in when the person didn't even have to ask for their order Yeah, because they just like the individual. So when you're talking enough about them and letting them, mm-hmm. you know, talk about how great they are, or what they're doing. And, 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 and again, depending on the size of the deal, if, if, you're, if you're a sales rep or whatever it may be, or own a company that you're trying to do a big deal, do some research on that individual. Yeah. Man, hey, man, I really respect what you did. Like... In terms of how you did this and this and, and built this company, I think it's amazing. Tell me a little bit about you know some some of the processes that you had to go through. I mean, that had to be tough, wasn't it? Yeah. And then listen and then genuinely, gen- yeah. right? Like That's, genuinely want to listen. You know, yeah. And so, and, and and it talks about that. It says make other fi- others feel important. Right. The reality is is. I think that that's what's missing. Like even dude, when I go when I go to bigger cities. It's just so crazy how self-absorbed everybody is now. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody, but everybody's so into themselves, Mm -hmm. like trying to get where they're trying to go and do what they're trying, that they're not even aware of their surroundings. Like when you, when you check into a hotel and you pass a maid in the hallway, do you ask how they're doing? How are you? Yeah. I always interact you with do. you. You're really I, good at that. I love interacting with people at front desk when we rent cars. Yeah. You know, I try to create a relationship within 10 or 15 yeah. minutes when we rent a car. That one time when we were 10 seconds, bro. You yeah. did it with a guy on an elevator just last week at D2D Con. You were like, Hey, what's up? Patting the guy on the back. He's kind of he's kind of like thrown back a little bit. Like, what yeah. does this guy want? What is he doing? By the, yeah. Dude, by the four-flight freaking elevator, right? Yeah. He was your best bud. That guy yeah. loved you. I actually rode up one more level with him because you were on the 10th floor. I was on the yeah. 11th. And uh, he was like, hey, that's important. Like, people need to just talk to people. And he, he told – I didn't actually ever end up telling no, you that, dude. That guy freaking that. loved you, dude. Mm. And uh, he, he actually highlighted you, dude, for doing that. He was like, dude, yeah, that's just – people don't do that anymore. No. And people need to do that. And no. I was like, I actually meant to tell you about that. And I forgot till yeah. now. Mm, that's it. <laughs> remember that's that good. old dude? Yeah, don't yeah. remember. Because you do yeah. do it a lot. Yeah, I do it all the time. I whether do it it's everybody. a waitress, whether it's someone on it, the street. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I try to connect with, with people. And you've done that way before you even read this book. Way so before that is that. kind of a natural superpower of yeah, yours because I've yeah. noticed that for years. Um, and Austin, our videographer, sees me do it all the time. Sometimes he gets embarrassed like when, I'm t- when I randomly bring up conversations <laughs> with like strangers. Like, hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> you know, or whatever. And yeah, Austin's face Austin, doesn't he's hide. He's kind of just dude. like, yeah, he wears. He's got that face. He's like, kind of like, that's weird. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't even know him. <laughs> no, literally at the same hotel last weekend, some old guy comes up and he had a name tag. I'm like, I forgot what his name was. It was like, whatever, let's just say George. I'm like, hey, George, how you doing today, man? And he kind of got taken back by it a little bit. And Austin didn't see his name tag. And Austin's like, you know that guy? And I'm like, no, dude, he had a name tag on, bro. Um, And that's one of the things as well right here that says, remember people's names. Everyone uh, feels important when they hear their name. Yeah. You know, you guys will notice that I do this on Instagram as well. I'll click on a profile and see if I can find their name, and I'm going to say, appreciate you, Kel. Yeah. You know, thank you, Kel, or whatever. Like, It it does, dude. It It makes a difference. I I know that for a fact because 
I've been, I was on Instagram prior to us having real business owners, and when I would try to communicate with somebody that was of influence, so to speak, when they would like something or comment back and say my name, yeah. you know, it, it, it means something. It's a weird feeling it that is. you can't even really describe, but yeah. it, it, it increases the value, right? Yeah. Like, you feel valued. Yeah. I think. I don't know. No, I'm yeah, trying to absolutely. think about how that yeah, feels. Because yeah, no, like, it, it, uh, it makes a difference. I, like, I feel something different when they like are like, yeah. It, it's not Thanks just, for your business, Kale. Yeah, you know, exactly. Rather than just say thank you for your business. Yes, appreciate you. Yeah, you know, or whatever. And and I do that too sometimes when I when I don't when I can't find their name. Yeah. I try to take the extra time to literally click on a profile. In some cases they're just business profiles. Yeah. Right. If it just said easier accounting and there wasn't our name like on on our easier accounting Instagram, there's not not our name. So yeah. if we followed ourselves, so to speak, and commented, I wouldn't know who who is running that account. Right. So it that, is important. That though. makes it a little bit more difficult, but. The reality is, guys, you know, books are very, very important. That's that, that, that that's why we wanted to do the podcast that we did. And 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 that's why they're out there, man. Learn from other people, like yeah. learn from other stories and share your story too, man. Yeah. You got a lot to to give to the world. Like people need to to just learn from each other. Yeah. You you're gonna you're gonna add so much value to the people in your life and in your business and your clients if you are constantly educating yourself and and uh, put in the work in you will yeah. get better at reading if you're like us and you were like oh you know whatever i got all this figured out i'll just you know continue that's, hustling that's bullshit you know like it's excuses yeah i'm so glad we broke I that pattern because we did it for a lot of years and we yeah. had an okay we had a successful business but yeah. dude it's blowing up like literally we have problems because it's blowing up right now so we are you know very grateful for the things that we're learning um you know yeah like, Absolutely. Problems will work them. More. And Kel's, Kel's in the process of writing a book right now, so he's going to be a, a speaker, author, entrepreneur, <laughs> podcaster, badass, da 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 da, da etc. 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 Oh, you'll you know? write a book too, man. Um, and I'm only about halfway through it, dude. It's a harder process than I thought, yeah. but it is going to be all about creating challenges in your life and getting overcome. through them and mm. finishing them. Yeah, it, it's important. It's it's important because like that really is what's changed the game for me. Um, I, I, I quit a lot of things, man. I quit a lot of things growing up. I've quit marriages. Yeah. <laughs> I've quit school. Yeah. I quit high school. I quit high school wrestling. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, I can, and that's what a lot of these stories are, are things that I've it's quit talking about and then how I made that big shift and started challenging myself. And actually when I do set my intention on a challenge, dude, it is like, you are not going to break me. I'm going to see this thing to the end. And that's just like a book, man. When you pick up a book, you don't just read a chapter or two, like see it through to the end. That's yeah. where you're going to get the value yep. because one, you kept those promises to yourself. Mm. You finished the book, you gained the knowledge. Even if you don't remember everything in that book, you are going to take something out of that book that's yeah. going to give value to your life and in return, give value to other people's lives as yeah. well. So every little book you pick up, look at it like a challenge, man. Like, yeah. hey, I'm going to finish this book and see it through and you'll get value out of it. So, And I, I would, I, I again, I don't, I don't know if you agree, but I would guess you would. Um, I would I would start with uh, you know books that uh, that can help you become stronger mentally and yeah. help you understand the mind and how yeah. the mind works. Because when you understand how the mind works, you can actually recognize it when it's playing tricks on you. Yeah, and you can call it out. You know, and, mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing right now. You may not recognize it, but. We're calling your asses out yeah. when you say, "Oh, I don't retain information. Right. I don't do. I don't. I don't. I don't." Be careful about what you identify us. Yeah, you know, identify yourself as a fucking badass who wants to level up, and you're willing to do whatever it takes to be able to make that happen. Yeah, and then at that point, you're open minded to just about anything. Yeah, you know. So, well, and if you're sick of quitting. You know, like I was, dude. The yeah. very first book I read, it was outside of like high school or shit mm -hmm. that we read together in high school was Buddha's Brain. And yeah. dude, it was kind of a hard book because it started yeah. talking about the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala and all these parts of your brain. I was yeah. like, I didn't pick what this book up to that? become a fucking brain surgeon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is stupid. But I was sick of being a quitter, dude. So yeah. I was like, I'm just going to finish it. And dude, I took so much out of that book, bro. And then guess what? It turns into bigger challenges. It turns yeah. into bigger books and, you know, next things that you want to learn about. Out. And it snowballs, it compounds. And so um, whatever you do, man, if you guys are going to start picking up books um, or anything, really, for that matter, I mean, dude, challenge yourself to see it through. Start small. Speak, it will turn into bigger things. Speaking of reading, yeah, this five-star review, 
And by the way, guys, thank you so much. We have 161 reviews on the podcast, and they're 100% five-star. We, we, so we, we, we haven't got anything uh, less than that. At the, we get some little hater crazy. comments here and there, but at least we don't get hater <laughs> reviews yet. <laughs> yeah, at least the hater comments stay on Instagram. You know, the haters aren't, they, they don't put time into hating. Yeah. You know, they ain't going to go to the podcast and put real time in. Yeah, we know it helps you them know? too when, you know. And the reality is, is people who are hating, dude, that's just a reflection of, of their, their perspective yeah. on life. They're going through uh, a process too. We are. realize that. Yeah. They're going through a process where they've got to get their asses in check. I've so been, I've, dude, go I've ahead. Been and hate yeah really. i've been a hater too yeah. like looking at somebody like fuck i think i'm smarter than them or this that i i how do they get there you know and then as you really get punched in the mouth over and over as you're leveling up mm-hmm. you start having far more respect like when i look at large companies that are doing big shit all i think about now is like holy shit the amount of struggle and stress and pain that they had to go through yeah. and endure to get where they're at now because I understand it more now. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, you know, uh, when you make a hundred grand a year, you're wondering how these people make a couple million dollars a yeah. year, and you're like, "Fuck, dude, they're not deserving, or they're not. The, they are." It's amazing what happens when you're they open-minded, are. dude. Yeah, not they, close-minded. I, I promise they are deserving. Right. You know, they they they've put they've paid their dues, so to speak. Right. Um, speaking of reading, this this five star review right here it says "Real Recognize Real" by Brian Tatum. This was just um, Stay Friday. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes right. Well, you guys are listening. It's probably Wednesday, but we're recording this on a Friday. He just did this yesterday. You know, and the reason why I say speaking of reading, because it's a long review. Uh, <laughs> Let's it, hear it. It, it. Well, I'm I'm nervous about reading it because <laughs> I'm gonna flub it up probably because I I I'm getting to Better. be a good reader. Yeah, Again, yeah. I haven't Dude, read I haven't read boat. a lot. I still read slow, bro. That I do too. A chapter right? that probably takes someone usually fifteen minutes yeah. to read, it probably takes me twenty five. Dude, you and know sometimes I mean? like, I'm sometimes slow. when I'm reading, I have to like I kind of zone out for a second. I have mm-hmm. to reread that paragraph. I do too. And I, That's and I have why to I highlight now. That's why I I yeah. literally underline with a red yeah. pen the things that really stand out to me so I just retain yeah. it better. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, let's hear it. Brian, I'm I'm gonna try not to fuck this up, but um I appreciate the 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 review. It says about a month or so ago, I made a decision that in 2020, I would start, start living for me in a way that would honor my father who passed away. My father was at the top of his craft, his field. He knew everybody uh, could have built a huge company, but he was brought up in the security blanket mindset though. Top of your field, making a great salary with great benefits, etc. It's easier than doing it yourself. So in 2020, I'm going all in on myself. I'm betting on myself. As of February 1st, I'm going to be my own boss full time. So while I'm excited and nervous, this podcast is mentoring me. Every person needs a mentor. Throughout all of the mediums we have for communication and connection, this podcast is like having a personal business mentor for free. If you're not listening and subscribing, you should be. Damn. Now. Dude, that actually gives me a little bit of chills because yeah, I'm like, too. dude, I remember Fuck. that moment when I was like, I, I have to go all in. Yeah. And it really took a point of like no other option, a point that I just couldn't tolerate anymore. And it's like, dude, I I, I hope if anybody gets anything out of our podcast, it's dude, like that guy, man. Yeah, like, don't incredible. wait till you get to this, you know. I think he's on, I think he's honoring his father. Yeah, I think by so do, too. Because his his father's, you know, looking down on him and and uh, you know, hoping that he lives a better, more fulfilled, more challenging life in terms of you know growth well, that's and what we evolution want for all our kids. Anyway, right? anyone that's a parent knows, yeah. like, do you want your kids to have yeah. better than you? Yeah, and not given to them, like, yeah, literally just earn it. Earn it yeah. you know, like, because because you when want you, your kids to be better than you. When you earn it, you become an individual of value, not yeah. just in business, in life in general. Yeah, the struggles are what brings the information or the lessons that you need that ultimately bring the most value to you. It's not the good. Yeah. It's the individual that goes through the most struggles, extract the most lessons, therefore can implement those lessons and then receive all the good. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I think it's um, admirable. Brian, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're in your corner, brother, you know, so uh, just know that, you know, send us a, a DM at any point at any time. If you have questions, concerns, uh, hit a bad day or whatever it is, man. That uh, that review was, you know, it definitely hits the heart, and, and we appreciate it very, very, very much. And everybody, man, that listens, we yeah. appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. This community has been awesome. Mm-hmm. Just uh, Conti- keep hitting us up. <laughs> yeah, no, we we want 
like some of the people that that I DM'd with like early on, yeah. you know, they, they check in every once in a while and letting me know kind of what they're up to, what's going on, and it's the evolution cool. of their business and and how much it's helped and. Um, it means a lot, it does. you know, to 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 know that that we're making an impact and and bringing good information that that is affecting people in a positive way. And so, continue to let us know, you know, what what's going on in your life and and how the information we're giving you is benefiting you because it definitely puts puts fuel in our tank and helps us want to continue to bring you guys valuable information. So, hundred yeah, percent appreciate it, everybody. Yep, love you guys. Uh, do do us a favor. Have a good day, and uh, you know we'll see you next week.